Welcome to this new Concepsis document control tip of the month. In this issue, we talk about document templates. This month, we look at document templates and how they can help us with the quality, compliance and consistency of our documents. It's also a great way to boost the efficiency of everyone in the workplace. Let's start by defining what is a document template. It's a document that has a preset format and that contains placeholders for all required document control metadata, such as the title, the document number, the revision index, the date, etc. It is a starting point for document authors so that the formatting does not have to be recreated over again for every new document. We have here an example of the first page of a document template, and we can see that it has a preset format and placeholders for important metadata. So how are templates useful? First, they offer visual consistency. All documents from the same company or project or department have the same look and feel, and they comply with the company's guidelines. They improve greatly the efficiency of document authors. They don't have to start from a blank page. They don't have to take decisions on how to format their documents. They know in advance how the document is supposed to look like and what kind of information will be required. It allows for a consistent integration of important document control metadata. For example, all documents will have a title, a number, a revision index, a status, a revision history table, etc. Templates are great for compliance too. Documents are more likely to comply with the rules if you are using templates and if authors are trained to use them. Templates also help document controllers greatly with their quality checks. When something is wrong with the document, it will appear more clearly if all documents are formatted in the same way. I will show you later in this video how to create a document template step by step. But first, how does it work? This is Alex. Alex is a document author and wants to create a document. They'll start by asking their document controller for a document number. Then Alex will open the document template and save the new working document in the dedicated working area. Alex will modify what is required in the document's placeholders and will produce the document itself. When happy with the document, Alex will go through the document again, self-checking the formatting and the content. Then Alex will send the document to the document control team for them to quality check the document and process it. In case something is identified as an issue during quality checks, the document control team will send the document back to Alex for modification. If everything is all right with the document, then it can be authorized. And once this is an official document, then the document controller can register the document, they can file it into the document control repository, and they can distribute it. Just a quick note here to tell you that if you think this video brings you value, please hit the like button below and consider subscribing to this channel for more tips on document control. Templates are company specific. Every company decides the look and feel as well as information displayed. They are standardized. All authors must start from the same template when creating a document. They are comprehensive. They include all minimum fields and placeholders needed to identify, control, and track the document. If you're looking for document templates that are already formatted and contain all required document control metadata, we do have templates that you can purchase and download at our website at concepsis.com slash toolbox. They are ready to use templates that you can then customize to your company or organization. Now we're gonna have a look at how to create a document template. Here are the steps. First, you need to determine the objectives of your template. Then to determine the fields required in your template. What kind of metadata are you going to need in this document? Now determine the format. Is it going to be a Word template, an Excel template or something else? Then create the template and I will show you the steps in just a few moments. Have it reviewed, have it approved and then launch it. Of course, you'll need to train every author to this new template. In a template, a few areas can be distinguished. We have the header. The header is used to display information repeated on every page. That's mostly the document's metadata. We have the footer of the template. The footer is also repeated on every page, but it is less visible. So we usually use it to display copyrights or disclaimers and the content area. This is where the actual content of the document will be written by the author. 
So let's create a template together. For this tutorial, we will be using Microsoft Word. So let's start with the header. The header is a feature in Word that allows you to have information repeated on every page of the document. It can contain text, information about the document, or even images. We are going to double click in this area. We are going to use it to display our document metadata. So I'm going to use a table to display the metadata in an easy manner and in a very legible manner. So we are going to choose the number of columns and rows we want to see in the header. And then we're going to add the metadata as per our requirements. So for example, I'm going to add placeholders for the logo, the document number, the revision, the dates, the projects, etc. This part you will have to adapt to the actual requirement of your company in terms of metadata. So I have added the labels and now I'm adding the placeholders for each metadata. And the placeholders here identified with X's, for example, these are the parts that will have to be updated by the document author. Then we're going to format this header as per our requirements. So here again, you can be creative. You can format it as per the guidelines of your company in terms of font, font size, colors, color scheme, logo, etc. For the page numbering, you are going to use the automatic page numbering from Word. This is going to ensure that your page numbering is always accurate. Here I'm selecting one that shows both the current page number and the total number of pages. And now we're going to focus on the footer. So as I said, the footer is also repeated on every page, but it's less visible. So we use it typically for disclaimers or copyrights. And then, of course, we format it as per the guidelines of the company or the requirements of the company. So now we have the header and the footer. Now we're going to create the formatting for the actual content of the document. The idea is that not only the author will have guidelines about what the document should look like, but also they will have a way to automatically format their content as per the template. To make it easy for our document authors to format the documents, we are going to create styles. Styles are a great way to quickly apply a set of formatting choices consistently throughout the document. So what we are going to do is create styles for each main part of a document template. So for example, one specific style for the headings, another specific style for the subheadings, the paragraphs, etc. So the next thing we're going to do is create these styles in our template. I'm going to place a placeholder for each of these different styles that I'm going to want to see in the template. Then I'm going to format them properly and then I'm going to update the styles in my template so that they match the styles that I have created here. So in the home tab, you have these styles here. Click on this button to display the different styles. Here it will show you the different styles that are currently in your document. So we select the properly formatted heading. Then we right click on the style we want to update here, heading one. And then we click on update heading one to match selection. We repeat this for every style we want to create. So now that our styles are created, it's like a magic wand for the author. When using the template, the author will just have to select a specific style they want for a specific part of their document and it will apply automatically the style that you have designed for this specific template. This makes it very easy for the authors to follow your template. Now, when you are happy with your template, you are going to need to save the document as a template. So I'm going to click on save as and here instead of saving as a normal Word document, I'm going to save as a Word template. When you do that, you have to select the right folder for your template and save it there. A few more tips for your templates. Get your templates approved. It will help you a lot with the rollout of the templates. Include guidelines on how to fill in your templates. Make sure you train authors on how to use templates and on how to self-check. And make sure your templates are accessible, easy to use and readily available. Do you currently use templates in your organization? What are the benefits you think templates can bring to an organization? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.
If you wish to know more about document control and improve your skills in and around the document control profession, join us in one of our courses, which allow to develop your skills and get your career on the right track. We have different courses, each one designed to accompany you throughout your career in document control. You can find the link in the description below. We regularly release new content on document control, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to hit the notification bell to be notified of any useful new content.